I can enjoy the ride. I want to go to Savannah Avenue. As soon as I finish, I'm going home to blow some heads and beat up the coochie. Vicky, it's Ray Pacino, the man keeping your Irish friends in liquor. I thought I was doing that. I hear you need work. I want to throw your bone, Mickey. Come over to Drusilla's in Little Italy. We'll have a little sit down. Don't talk about it. Here we are. It's a wrap. There he is, Nico Bellic. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry, Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican Coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you, inbred halfwit? <laughs> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry yeah. just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three <laughs> times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Let's do this. Alright, here's how the shit is going down. We're gonna go inside and each take down a security guard. Me and St. Michael here are gonna handle the civilians while Nico and Derek manage the employees. Anyone tries anything, you put them down hard. Once the situation has been controlled, Derek's going to rig the vault door with explosives. I got enough PE4 here to get through anything they throw at us. PE4? I never heard of that. It's some limey name for C4 that Derek here picked up over there. I ain't having this argument with you. Come on, boys, watch it! Please proceed to highlighted route. 
Safe to say, what we're using is controllable. <laughs> Resolution in here, pal. Have a good day, sir. Please make a U turn where safe. Not going to leave much residue on the notes either, so they should be washable. Oh, well, they're going to be washable, all right. Can't wait to see what sort of kick C4 residue is going to give me when I snort up a line of chop through one of them notes. First, you're a fucking charmer, Patrick. Second, it's PE4, not C4. Whatever, at least I'm honest about my habits, Derek. You know nothing about nothing, Patrick. I'm honest about me demons. Hit the needle on the old head there, did I, Derek? Expression is, hit the nail on the head, Packy. Really, Michael? You don't think I know that? And Jerry was right about you, Mikey. Your parents must have been twins to produce a kid as dumb as you. I'm surprised you ain't got three eyes, no balls, and a club foot. Don't bring my parents into this, Packy. All right, all right. Do we all know what we're doing? Once the vault door blows, I want Nico and Michael to go down into the vault to get the money while me and my brother handle the crowd control. All makes sense to me. If you guys can stop arguing for a few minutes, then I think we might be okay. Christ! In 800 yards, turn left. Wait until you're inside to get ballied up. None of you fucking fucks move! Get on the floor! None of you is gonna get a medal for playing hero. All you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart! Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe! Open the door! Open the door! Open the door! Open the fucking door! Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it! Get on the floor! Now! But sir! You too! Okay, okay! Hey, yo! I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? What's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. 
Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. We told you not to oh. fuck with us! Oh. Shit! Michael! Saint fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother will watch the kids! We're nearly done here! Keep calm, people! I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys!
way, too! Join in the party, boys. Take it easy, man. Will you come the hell back? <laughs> 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 Shit, 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 Michael! Damn it! I could have been nice to him for once in my fucking life! Kid only wanted to help! Loved you, Packy. I was happy you spoke to him. Didn't matter what you were saying. Yeah, well, now I gotta explain to his folks that their son is lying dead on the floor of banking the gun. Well, give them his cut. When your kid is living a life, you gotta expect someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it any easier to hear. And we aren't safe yet. I on the road, Nico! I don't want you to have to break no bad news to our mom. Neither do I. Help! My fucking head! Cover me! 
city, eh? Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something. Where are you going, man? Simple. Take me to Denver Avenue. Sorry about the smell. I just laid some gas in here. The number of people using involuntary euthanasia for the weak and unfortunate and turn them into compost for our crops. It's simple. You want to kill people to reduce hunger? Absolutely. It's brilliant. It's barbaric. I blame video games. They're teaching our kids to hunger by slaughtering the weak. We should only... Here we are. The wrap. The wrap. Oh, table for one. We got a beautiful bacala salad. I'm here for, for someone. Go? I'm here for Ray. Oh, Ray, why did you say so? Ray's a beautiful man. You know what I mean? Uh, he's in the back. Thanks. Hey, Nikki! Ha <laughs> ha! How you doing, kid? Fine. Ah, <laughs> hey! <laughs> that Mick bastard friend of yours says you're okay. Good. That you're reliable. Yep. But can I trust you? Hmm? Why go through all this? Why stick your neck out? Why do all this work? Because I need the money. And because I can't do anything else. And because I'm good at it. Sure. And because I'm trying to find someone. Okay, maybe we can help. Let's see how we do. So anyways, I got this friend. Only the friend ain't my friend no more because he ain't getting me the vigios. Okay. Seems this guy does not respect the waste management business. Lives over in a project on Galveston near you. Name is Teddy Benavidez. Do what you gotta do. Somebody gets burnt, so be it. Fine. And you'll pay. Hey, you kid, not pay double. Good. But you mess up, bad things are gonna happen. Ladies, this is Roman Bellick. 
Teddy Benavides is in? No sé, I don't know no Teddies. You sure about that? You want the last thing to come out of your mouth to be a lie? Shit, man. He's up on the top floor, apartment 151K. You have to walk the last few floors. Elevator Rainbow, don't go up there, they're fixing it up. <laughs> don't make me get my gun! T-Dog, someone's coming up. Don't know how, but he knows where your apartment is. Pendejo, you owe Ray Bocino a lot of money. 
You should have paid. Those putos too old. They're finished, fool. This city don't belong to them no more. I wouldn't pay them shit. Fuck you! Ted is dead. We talking about? Ted, who's he? Sorry to hear about your loss. I'll son. be in touch, Nikki. So I ate all that shit. Yo, make sure you check out some of that anime shit. I went and saw that anime movie Princess Rubble Bubble Gum and the radioactive plant. Damn, those dudes make some crazy movie. It's like hot Japanese robots getting I want to go to Nobody knows this city better than me. Nico, my boy. This is Packy's brother, Gerald McCreary. Jerry, how's it going? Good. Got a little business opportunity I need your help with. Come and see me at my mom's house. Use the back entrance. Got a lot on my plate right now, Pecky. No time for shows. Sorry. All right, man. If you want to hang later, call me. 